Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can delete your XRP account uh, with the escalated fees. So currently, if you try to use the XRP toolkit to delete your account, it's not going to work because unfortunately, the XRP toolkit has uh, currently the, well, not the XRP toolkit, but actually the XRP ledger, as you might know, currently has elevated fees. And if you try to delete an account, you will see that um, that a transaction is going to be pre-prepared, but the XRP toolkit currently still sets as fee, uh, as deletion fee to XRP, and that's not enough. And therefore, the transaction won't be able to be submitted and won't be worked over, and you will, well, you will get the tell, uh, tell kind of Q4 or something like that. And so currently, you've got two options to delete your XRP account. Either you're going to sum, and there is another X app you can use. Uh, the X app is called um, account merge. So there's the XRP and you can see if you click on account merge, you can click on continue and there's the account which you want to delete and then you have to select the other one. So for now I can click on the account merge, so the receiver account, I want to delete that one here. And currently I can do that because I still have US dollars in Bitstamp, so the trust line. And before I can do that, I first have to remove the trust line, but I can remove the trust line because I still have a balance. So I'm just going to exchange all my Bitstamp US dollars into XOP. I'm going to sign that. So quick, quick signing that here. So let's quickly exchange those. And after doing so, I will have to delete the trust line. So back, then I can click on US dollar, remove trust line. Yes, then I have to sign again. So now the trust set transaction is being prepared and being submitted to the actual ledger. And now the account looks good. So I don't have any trust lines anymore and I can open the so-called app called account merge. So now that when I'm here in here, uh, I can now select the account I want to delete, the receiver account. I have to first select and sign. Then I'm going to select the other account. That's going to be the uh, XRP dev account where I want to send it to. Then sign again. And after you're done, you can click on next step. And then the transaction is being prepared. You can see right now, okay, the fee is being shown as two, so I'm not even quite sure if it's going to go through. Oh, yeah, my bad. I currently, so if that happens, please update the sum map. I still have an old version. I'm going to quickly pause the video and update the app. All right, so I updated the sum map, so that's right now very important. So if you tried this and it's showing as a fee right now, uh, well, uh, the fee of two, then please make sure that you have the last updated version. Because right now I'm trying it again. You can see here the transaction fee is right now free. Okay, so I'm not going to sign it now, but if you would sign it, the transaction would go through and you would have been able to delete your account. But what if you don't want to uh, send it to another uh, account which you well, which belongs to you, what if you, uh, where well, you can sign, what if you want to send it to an exchange? And in order to do that, I'm also going to show you how we can, well, how we can do that. Um, for that, we're going to use some community. So just go to the browser again, go to some community, and then there's a tab called uh, XRPL tools, and then click on raw JSON transactions. Then click on select template and click on account delete. So now, uh, now it's important. Now, as the account, select the account you want to delete. So you have to enter it there. So I want to delete the receiver account. So I'm going to click on, um, well, request and copy the address. That's the account which I want to delete. Now I have to define who I want to send it to. I'm still going to send it to my XRP dev account, but let's just pretend that my XRP dev account is an exchange account. So this is going to be still the same here. So I'm just going to say that, like I said, that this is my a, a, an exchange account. And now you can just define here in the destination tag, but without the quotes, you can define the destination tag. Let's say you've got whatever in Binance, a destination tag of 8765432121. Why not? Uh, well, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, let's say another number like that. Okay, perfect. And if you have that, so if you made sure that this is an, a destination is the account you want to well send it to, that the destination tag is the your tag from the exchange, and an account is the account you want to delete. And when you have all of that, you're just gonna click on send transaction to sum, and then you have to scan the QR code. In my case, I'm gonna do it in my emulator, so I'm gonna click on right click and copy link address, and I'm gonna go into my into the Nox player here, so in my emulator and paste it now. And now we can see here that if I open the app and enter my super secret password, you can see here again the transaction is prepared, being sent to my XRP dev account with the destination tag defined here. And when it's fine, then I can just sign that, continue, 
and it's being signed. And now, we, like I said, we're sending it to the pseudo transaction. Uh, well, to the, not the pseudo transaction, I meant to the pseudo exchange. Uh, now you were also able to delete your account and send it to an exchange. Now my account is gone and it was, like I said, deleted. All right, so I hope this was helpful to everybody watching. I will link the tools. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.